Okay, so a good mate of mine said to me, these KL 405s, um, do they really do what they say they do? And I said, uh, good question. Now to work that out, um, I decided that we need to know what current, we need to have a radio driving it, we need to have a dummy load to make this even remotely legal what we're about to do, because uh, I'm going to use a, um, an input signal that's tuned to, um, to this amplifier. Um, I'd, I'd say they're pretty broad, you'd probably get 10 metres and you know, uh, maybe even 15 and 20 out of them, but let's not kid ourselves, we sort of have a fair idea that they were made to go on the end of these things. So. Um, legally I can do this by going into a dummy load obviously and I've got a scientific license so this is a bit of a scientific experiment to find out do they really do what they say they do so now I'm only using a 30 amp supply um, and I've had a quick look at the current drawer and I think we're good there um, this is a two and a half thousand watt bird dummy load so I think we can handle the power I don't think the RM middle is going to blow this to bits but we're using a bird watt meter but I'm not using a PEP, so um, this is just a uh, 250 watt slug. So when you see the meter move, you're looking at the top uh, movement. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and, and the end scale equals 50, 100, 150, 200 watts. And um, so that's just give you a uh, bit of relativity. Now I've chosen one of my favorite radios. I can't believe I've put things on top of it. I, I generally never do that. This one's mint. I've got a couple of these and um, um, when I say favourite radio, um, you guys know I don't do a lot of CB stuff as far as um, operation or anything like that, but I am a bit of an avid collector of some of this old stuff, and when you get them so mint, oh, this is going to turn into a Stalker Double X, um, you know, sort of uh, review, but I love the Stalker Double X, I think they're, they really were, you know, ahead of their time. Anyway, enough on that. So, back to the KL405 RM Italy amplifier. And thank you to my good mate of mine that's been patient. I've been crook so many days this day. I, I, I promised this three days ago, uh, four, I think, actually. Um, anyway, um, I won't mention his name because that might give too much away. But um, I am sorry. <laughs> I really am. Uh, today I've got a little bit done, which is great. But uh, I'm at the tail end of the day. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit, but uh, that's okay. We, I wanted to get this done. It was important to me. And uh, it's important to a mate of mine, too. Okay, so let's just have a bit of a look. We're going to put in, I'm going to, I'm not going to bother with the low, medium, high for the moment. We're just going to go full burst, burst, full burst high. So we're on six, position six there. So just to sort of show you that, right, six, right around there. Um, we are basically in sideband mode at the moment. Now, keep in mind, this is not a PEP meter. So what we're seeing is some pretty accurate um, numbers as to what is going to come up on this meter. Uh, going into a very well-determined 50 ohm load that we know, you know, pretty much we're covering all the parameters. The other calculation we'll be able to do, to some extent, is to have a look at the current being drawn and say, well, okay, does that make sense in regards to the amount of power the watt meter is showing? Does the current make sense? So let, let's say the average um, 100 to 120 watt radio draws 16 amps or so. We're going to expect this to draw 25 to 28 amps, I would have thought, um, you know, if it can get up to, uh, you know, 200, maybe a little bit under 200 watts. Um, and I'm giving the game away a little bit there because I reckon that's probably about what we're going to see. Now, I haven't actually done the test on full yet. I must have, to be honest, I did do a quick test on low, but I thought I'll save the full so that, you know, I can sort of look at it and go, oh, is that it? Or really, oh, that's good, one or the other. So let's have a bit of a look. Uh, so I'm going into transmit with my microphone on a dummy load on a Stalker XX, uh, good old T-Berry, with a KL405, which I know very little about. Uh, had a quick look at the circuit. Looks okay, you know, uh, didn't look terrible. Uh, you know, not sure you'd use it on 80 metres, but, you know, let's have a look. Okay, so let's get on the metre. Uh, we're putting in around about uh, 12 watts input sideband, and uh, these amps can take more input. Uh, they can take up to 20 from memory. So, you know, we may not be actually pushing it to its absolute, but, you know, let's um, let's go with our... Well, actually, first, let's make sure we're actually doing 12-watt sideband. Let me turn the amp off. I didn't check that, actually. What have we got coming out of this? One, two, hollow, hollow, hollow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, that's a little bit harder to read there. One, 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 one. Uh, I'm just doing the maths on this. I'm pretty right. Look, about 12 watts, um, and uh, check me out on that, but... Um, uh, I'm just kind of having to go, of course, that's 50 watts there, and on a graduated scale, we're getting above the second little uh, 
second little notch there. Was that really? Where's us have another look? One, two, one, two. Yeah, okay. So probably 15 watts. Uh, 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 yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Somewhere around there, if I've done my maths correct. Okay, so let's turn the amp back on. And uh, let's just see what, what happens on the good old meter here. All right, so... Uh, hello, 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 hello. Uh, hello, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, hello. Let's call that about 175 watts. But let's see what we're drawing in current. Uh, in my mind, that's got to be 25, 24, 25 amps, I'm, I'm sort of thinking. I'm guessing a little. Uh, but let's have a look on the amp meter. Uh, hello. Hello, 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 Okay, a little bit under 25 if that meter's accurate. This is a Daiwa SS330 from, um, actually it came from a very good mate of mine down in Gippsland these days. Uh, he moved down to Gippsland, he's loving life down there. I, I hate the fact that he's just having so much fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, good on you, Anthony. But, uh, uh, and by the way, it's the first time we tested this. I, I think you sent me this a year ago, maybe 18 months ago. <laughs> anyway, thought we'd fire it up. What the hell? But uh, it's working well. Um, okay, so we're getting um, quite a good bit of, bit of a hit. I actually thought 150 tops out of this. One, two, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it 175. Uh, Keeping in mind, we probably could be, you know, driving it a little bit harder than what we are at the moment. Um, so let's let's sort of maybe take into account it could get up a little little bit higher than that. Although I like how we're running it at the moment, and the reason for that is, um, yeah, it's a stone cold. They do have a fan on this, which which works very well. But you know, sort of, uh, I mean, we haven't done the excessive transmission uh, on this uh, transmitting time on this. Let's just have a look on AM. Uh, AM obviously should be a smaller amount of power that we're going to see out of this amplifier. Now, the the comp the reason for that is not so much that the amplifier doesn't work well on AM. It's actually just that the AM power is uh, so little into it. So let's just turn that amp off again. Let's have a little look at what the AM carrier is into this. As we can see, there about five watts, four or five watts. So we're not going to see the same amount of power we just saw on sideband with 12 to 15 watts drive. So let's just turn it back on, and we should see, I'm guessing, about oh, 80 to 100 watts. Here we go. Oh, a little bit more, actually. Uh, about 110, 120 watts there. Jeez, I must work out that divisional scale. Um, you guys can do the maths for me. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, um, that's actually not too bad, because uh, we're not driving it with a heck of a lot. Obviously, you could turn your AM power up and, and get that to um, flick over quite a bit more but it's going to be at 100% duty cycle. This is going to be getting very, very warm when you do that. So what do I think so far? <laughs> you might say to me, where's your spec, Anne? Well, yeah, good point. That's sitting over there. But uh, that would be the next thing to put onto it, is to fire up. It's even got the battery. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I have not used my spec, Anne, and I know who's having a look at this at the moment, saying you were supposed to be using this, 2721B. That would be the next test to do. Look, I'm not going to bother doing that, to be honest, because, um, look, uh, I've got to be honest, I'm still getting used to this 2721B myself, and I need to learn how to use it a bit better. But uh, great um, uh, device. Uh, mate of mine's actually got one and uh, convinced me. I was only going to sell it, but he convinced me that uh, that would be a silly thing to do. So I will get the time at some stage. Okay, so look, um, I, I, look for raw power output, not too bad. I really... Um, just look at that there. Yeah, that's that's okay. And let's just give it another hit on sideband again. And we'll just um, flick our little... All this is a delay to sort of not cut out on your transmission. So as you drop your over a little bit and go hello, and then stop, test, stop, one, stop, two. This here just gives it a little bit extra delay. That's, that all. There's no magic in this here, apart from that's all it does. Um, so let's have a look. I can hear my battery on my Andrews, who's low. Hello, hello, yeah, look that, hello, 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 yeah, look that's, that's a consistent 175, um, and that's with, let me just have a look here, oh, look I could program this thing, <laughs> it's up on 2.4 gigs at the moment, look I won't even try at the moment, um, it's, it's really, at this, on <laughs> this frequency, to be honest with you, I'm fairly comfortable that, uh, this is not going to be all over the band, it's, um, uh, that would be a different scenario had we hooked up a TS-130V or something and then said, let's see what it does. We might do that one day, is actually have a look at how these amps go when you start to change frequency. 
because of the filtering and the, I mean, more, more so the lack of filtering uh, for other bands. Uh, this would make a great little 10 meter amp, obviously, you now let's not kid each other. A lot of people use them on 11 meters, no question about that. And if you were running a, you know, a quad up in the air or something and, uh, you know, the 12 watts through to 175 watts, yeah, yeah I get it. it it's certainly going to uh, make a, a big difference as to uh, how your performance is going to be. But it's not the be all and end all. True gain, I've, I've come to realise as I've got a bit older, uh, comes through antennas. Uh, power's good, don't get me wrong, but, you know, um, the formula is, is not quite as, as simple as it sounds. Um, you know, uh, this whole, let's run two kilowatts and, and, you know, burn a path around the world. Well, no, that's not entirely true. Let's, let's put up decent antennas and, yeah, sure, you know, but with a decent antenna, you can run one kilowatt and, and go up to two kilowatts and no one really goes, oh my God, you know, it's it's really not the big deal. So sometimes power is a little bit overrated, uh, you know, as per efficient antenna systems. All right, well, this is just a very quick look for, this is primarily for one person, <laughs> but I thought, what the heck, um, let's do it a little bit scientific with a bird meter and uh, with the right slug um, and uh, just have a bit of a look into it, you know, a, a decent dummy load just to see, make to make sure um, I've actually tested this dummy load up to um, two kilowatts so far. Uh, we had an ACOM on this, uh, and this thing works beautifully. This this dummy load uh, came out of um, New South Wales. Cost me a fortune to freight it down, but I didn't care. The dummy load was cheap. The freight was <laughs> was terrible. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, that's all good. All right, KL405. Um, yep, uh, probably now. Does it do what the paperwork says? No, uh, yeah, sort of. You know, sort of. It's very, very broad. <laughs> what they say so anyway but it look it gives you a bit of an idea that you know probably it's a 200 watt amp with uh, a bit more a bit more drive into it with sideband it certainly could allow for just a little bit more um pretty sure they say they take up to about 20 watts drive so you will probably see that just increase it a little me i'd run it with you know 12 to 15 watts drive into it and get you 175 and um for you know um, obviously not from this band uh, but from 10 meters um you could um uh, and that would be the point um, whether you'd need to retune this just a little um, you might actually get a, a better peek out of it by uh, just having a bit of a look internally just to see if there's any way just to um, really fine tune the frequency you're trying to develop on the thing because I, I can guarantee you it's it's tuned for 11 meters no question so the reason we dragged out the um, the old CV set to uh, to run it because we're going to get the probably the best response all right RMK 405 um, yeah thumbs up uh, nothing terrible can't uh, can't say I hate it. Um, and I just realised something too. Um, I went and grabbed uh, Anthony's supply, and I forgot we've got another um, 60 amp supply sitting over here. Uh, one of the RM 60 amps. I should have used the 60 amp actually, uh, just in case you know we were surging current wise. Well, I don't think we were. I think we were fine. Uh, so uh, all good. Uh, I actually looked for that power supply out in the display room, thinking. It must be out there because I, I didn't realise I'd put it uh, months ago. I must have put that there, but I haven't been out here much lately. So um, forgive me for not knowing what's in my own sh uh, radio workshop at times. 73 is all the best. KL405, RM Italy. Uh, yep. Uh, what you see is what you get, I suppose. All the best. Cheers.